And as we, we ponder this theme of history, it's equally important that as I come back to the Tivoli Theater, uh, I had not been here for many years, and I, I am aware of its own checkered history. You have to understand that when this theater opened in the 1920s, African Americans were not permitted to attend. And so it's important, and indeed it sort of brings things in full circle that we have the readings that we have this evening on the subject that we have this evening. And when we talk about history, of course, one of the most unique sacred spaces in D.C. is Woodlawn Cemetery. It represents, at least to me, it is, it's a garden of history. What it is is a repository, not simply of earth and stone, but a resting place in many, in, in a very real sense and symbolic sense of the kind of achievement that moves us from civil rights, civil war, and beyond. It also serves as a constant reminder of the importance of maintaining our own history. We're here now at Woodlawn Cemetery, 4611 Benny Road, Southeast, in the heart of Ward 7, Washington, D.C. It's an important place with important people, both famous and not. We need to remember. I used to place flowers on my parents' grave every year until I returned one year to find their tombstones had been removed. It's important to know our history and why things are the way they are. And where East Capitol Street is now had a creek running across it. A creek that ran all the way down to Benning Road. The site for Woodlawn was chosen because of that creek. Now, I don't know, but there's a story that said you should be very near running water because the water will run your soul down the creek into the ocean and back to Africa. <laughs> Over the years, with all the building around Ward 7, that creek was filled in. Covered. Lost. Just want a little help. I mean, that's all we want. It's just a little help. My mother and grandmother are buried here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> As you all know, our neighborhood here at Ward 7 suffered from a lack of resources. Oh, and whole neighborhood. <laughs> well, we are happy to announce <laughs> And as of today, we will begin removing people buried and will relocate them to New Harmony Cemetery in Maryland. We estimate that this new development will bring over $100 million of value to Ward 7 and will significantly raise the property values of all the neighbors in the city and those throughout the ward. Uh, I, I have just one question. Are you crazy? <laughs> Grandmother is there again. You think you're gonna dig up my grandma and move her down the street to Maryland? Oh, no. If she doesn't deserve this, and neither does Senator Bruce, then we need to improve things right here at Woodlawn, but we can't honor their memories by trucking them down the to know that you know, as a community, we still come together and we can spread our message and give our message through an artistic form such as a play. You know what I'm saying? That was live. That was live. I think it was really powerful. I think that's one of the reasons why theater is so powerful in every community is because it has such a voice and the way that we express ourselves on stage, it keeps things in your mind, it educates you and it keeps a visual in your mind so that every time you think about a particular subject, you can go back to the show and really think about what moved you or what was said or what information you got. And I definitely didn't know a lot about Woodlawn. I mean, I really, there's so many aspects of DC that we're all still learning.